take four, this time with the mic on. Hi, I'm TR, I'm back with another RV how-to video. And in this video, I'm going to be replacing a blown uh, capacitor in the front AC unit on my RV. So I'm going to start this video with a very stern warning. These are life altering voltages, obituary generating. So while I was sitting here editing this video, I realized I had left out a couple of uh, safety precautions that I want to mention. And one of them is, of course, you need to have the circuit breaker turned off to your air conditioner unit before you ever start working on it. Second, there is a way to short these capacitors. And it's as simple as taking an insulated handle screwdriver and touching the screwdriver to the terminals and then to, in this particular case, the metal frame you see there. And uh, that will short the capacitor, that will drain the energy off of it safely uh, so you can work on them safely. If you are not familiar with working with this equipment, uh, then I highly recommend that you go and find somebody that is because you don't want to be messing around with these voltages. Uh, I'm more than comfortable with it. I've been working around electronics and electricity for years, and so I'm familiar with the technology and how to take care of it safely. Uh, but if you have any intrepidation at all, I would go to a professional. With that said, uh, my AC wouldn't work. So I ended up uh, getting online and looking around. I couldn't find the replacement part on Amazon. At least one that I was comfortable would fit perfectly. Uh, but I got onto DigiKey, uh, which is an electronic small part supplier and I found the exact part part number exactly matched and so I got that sent to me overnight it was forty three dollars delivered so that wasn't too bad uh, and basically installed it so when I got up there initially to look at it I realized that these capacitors were in this metal tray that uh, you could take the screws out and lift the whole tray out and that looked like it was going to make it a lot easier to service it and so I ended up doing that but before I took it out, you know, I took care to number what wires went to what terminals on the capacitors. So if you look at the capacitors here, uh, I installed a piece of tape. It just has numbers on it. It's an electrician's wire numbering tape is really what it is. Um, I had it left over from a project from, you know, a few years back. You could easily do this with a marker, but sometimes it's hard to read a marker on a piece of wire. Anyway. I use these labels, so I put the number two, say, on this terminal, and then I would put the number two on the wires going to that terminal, so I knew exactly what went back where. Got all the wires out of the way, got the tray out of there, and as you can see, what happened is, is that this capacitor blew. I'm pretty sure it looks to me like that it probably rubbed against this little metal springy widget that holds it in place, uh, and it looked to me like it shorted to that. And so I gotta wonder if just vibrating going down the road and running, uh, that it hadn't rubbed through and shorted out, you know, to that plate uh, that or that spring that's holding it. So reassembly was pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, I just put it right back together and uh, right back in the same way it came out uh, with the numbers all, you know, with the wires all numbered. It was a piece of cake to put it all back together. But before I put the final cover on, I came in and uh, kicked the AC on and it turned on perfectly. And so uh, that was what the problem was. Again, I can't overemphasize that you got to be safe working with these capacitors. You know, they carry a lot of voltage. There's a very quick amount of energy there to help get these motors started, and they can kill you. So, thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. If you like what you saw, be sure and give me that thumbs up. Those are always nice. I also really enjoy interacting with you. So, if you have questions or comments, you know, you can leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, got a lot of great RV how-to videos uh, already on my channel and plenty more to come. So subscribe and don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get notified when I do post new videos. But for now, it's time to go. Thanks for watching, I do appreciate it. Until we get together the next time, peace.